Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. And today's topic is going to be about friendships. So stick around to find out how to evaluate your friendships that you have currently and how to make new friends. Don't mind my background behind me. We are in the process of moving and if it looks chaotic back there, it's because it is. Anyways, let's get into today's video. The first thing I wanna talk about is evaluating your current friendships. Your friends reflect who you are. It's totally fine for you to have friends with different values. I have friends with different values. I have friends that are not the same as me. But if your friends are holding you back from things, if your friends are not inspiring you, are they really your friends? You have to ask yourself why you became friends with them. Are you still friends with them because you've known them since you were 13 years old and you share a favorite boy band with them still? Or are you friends with them because you had a lot of drunken bar hopping nights together and you feel like you need to keep this person around? Next question you have to ask is, is it a genuine friendship? Do you genuinely care about your friend and does your friend genuinely care about you? The feelings have to be mutual. I despise this term, but is your friendship toxic? Or do you have a toxic friendship with this person? Is this person bringing you down? Is this person making fun of you for every little thing? It's fine to make jokes about your friends. It's fine to laugh and tease your friends every now and then, but is that just the constant center of your friendship? Is your friend just constantly bringing you down or are you maybe the toxic friend? I really don't like when people say, well, I've known this person since kindergarten, so I have to be friends with them. Maybe you guys got along great in first grade. That doesn't mean you guys are going to get along great as adults married with children, you know? Maybe you guys are on two different pages. And that brings me to the next point, which is how to make new friends, especially as a homemaker. It's a little difficult to make friends because we're not going out to work we're not really going out a whole lot for the most part so we have to go we have to actually make an initiative to go out and seek friends and a lot of times we find friends online whether we're homemakers or not this is just, this goes for everybody we find some of the best friendships online so you can seek new friends um, obviously right now we are really all stuck in the same place we're all stuck at home so we're not able to go out to coffee shops or go out to mom groups and meet friends because of the state of the world so right now it's just basically online the world was back to normal you could go out to mom groups you could go out to coffee shops you could Find Facebook groups online that are local moms in your area that do maybe once a month play groups. So back to online friendships. I think online friendships are some of the most beautiful friendships I've ever had. I have a group on Instagram where all of the girls in my group are all feminine women, but we are all so much alike, but so different. We all come from different backgrounds. We all come from d different political stances. It's just a really cool experience to have a group of friends online where we can debate things and we can talk about things we can talk about things like mascara and lipstick one day to geopolitical issues the next day and go right back to talking about clothing the day after this is just something that is so rare especially now in today's society where we're told that well if this person doesn't see my political stance eye to eye doesn't have the same values as me i can't be friends with them but that's just not the truth, okay? That's what's separating America where I'm at and that's what's separating the rest of the world in different parts is that we're splitting each other up and segregating each other based on certain things that shouldn't matter. We should still try and be friends with people. Somebody is the opposite of me on the political spectrum and I vibe with them and I get along with them. I'm not going to turn down a perfectly beautiful friendship just because, oh, well, they're voting for Bernie, so. Anyways, Having this group of women online really just reminded, reminds me that we need to get back to that. We need to be okay with having disagreements with people. We need to be okay with not seeing eye to eye on everything. Like I said, this whole group of women is feminine women that they're all different in every single way. We all have different styles. We all have different likes and dislikes. We all have different views on modesty. We all have different views on Political issues, like I mentioned, we all have different views on favorite books and makeup and 
jewelry and anything you can think of nothing we don't see everything eye to eye and my point is that's okay it's okay to have friends that are different as long as you vibe with them if you get along with somebody if you guys can have a conversation and laugh why would you turn down a friendship to me it is important to have friends that are different and see things differently because it really gives me a good view on what I believe and why I believe it. If I have friends that all think the same as I do, then I'm, I'm sitting in an echo chamber of my own thoughts and I have no different views because nobody is challenging me on my views. I like to be challenged with my views. I like to understand more why I believe something or why I don't believe something. And having friends with different values and different beliefs helps me do that. Don't go out of your way to seek friendships that are different, but if they come to you and you get along with the person, be friends with them. Don't turn down good friendships. I've said that already about 10 times, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. Be friends with people because friendships are important. Friendships are beautiful. Just be nice to ev people everywhere you go. You never know what type of random encounter you have with another person might turn into a lifelong friendship. And that is the beautiful thing about life. That is the beautiful thing about being surrounded by people that are all different, that all come from different backgrounds and different interests and different hobbies. There is so much more to go into the topic of friendship, but this is just the basics of evaluating your current friendships and making new friends and not being afraid to be friends with people who are different than you. I hope this all made sense and if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. I am off to go and finish packing some more boxes. Woo! I will see you next time. Bye! -bye.